Hi, this is Dr. Campbell. Today I wanted to talk about will the new civil rights policy changes cost schools billions? The new head for the United States Department of Education proposes a civil rights policy change that could cost schools billions. The department has had rights of individuals as well as schools. Schools can avert these additional costs by applying several proactive strategies before the new civil rights policy change takes place. Now, according to the article that I was reading, which is titled, Education Department Says It Will Scale Back Civil Rights Investigations, the new head of the department proposes several policies that will impact the way schools do business in the area of civil rights. Now, this is a quote. According to an internal memo issued by Candace E. Jackson, the acting head of the department's Office for Civil Rights, requirements that investigators broaden their inquiries to identify systemic issues and whole classes of victims will be scaled back. Also, regional offices will no longer be required to alert department officials in Washington of all highly sensitive complaints on the issues such as um, disproportionate discipline of minority students and the mishandling of sexual assaults on college campuses, end of quote. This new civil rights policy change will prove devastating for school districts for several reasons. The first implication is that instead of responding to systemic challenges, students will have an opportunity to file a complaint on an individual basis. If a school has violated the civil rights of 50 individual students, they could have to entertain 50 different cases instead of one case for a systemic challenge. Now, according to a um, law practice that I found, in the case of a respondent who has more than 14 or fewer than 101 employees in each of 20 or more calendar weeks in the current preceding year, that case can go for 50000 A case where there are 100 to 201 employees, that case can go for $100,000. A case where you have 200 and fewer than 500 employees, that case could go for $200,000. And a case of 500 or more employees could go for $300,000. Rights policy change damages can range from 50,000 to 300,000 depending upon the number of employees in the school or the school district. Now in the example that I gave you for 50 different incidents, that range is 2.5 million to 15 million. And according to the 2002 census, there are 13,506 school districts districts in the United States. With each school district settling with at least 50 students, the cost for the schools for this civil rights policy change can range from $33 billion to $202 billion per year. You see, the old civil rights policy where complaints had an opportunity to utilize the United States Department of Education Office of Civil Rights, this was a benefit for many schools. It first provided the opportunity to settle disputes at the lowest level possible. Secondly, it provided an opportunity to weed out frivolous cases. Finally, it provided the federal government the opportunity to remain at the forefront of ensuring the civil rights of all individuals. And so I have a few recommendations for schools as they move forward. Schools can use the following cost-effective alternatives to ensure that the new civil rights policy change is not detrimental to school finances. First, use the Recelerate formula. The Recelerate formula helps schools to avoid the atrocities associated with civil rights complaints by staying under the racism radar. Teachers can use the Recelerate formula to monitor their progress and therefore avoid damaging the good reputation of the school. Second, use the Recelerate formula app. 
Yes, there's an app available on Android for Android devices on the Google Play Store. The Recelli Formula app is flexible and provides stress-free monitoring. The app helps the, the user to see how students, schools, and classrooms fare in avoiding racism without leaving the comfort of your home or classroom. The third recommendation is to conduct a cultural risk audit. Schools can further protect their image, staff, and students by having an independent order, audit for the purpose of evaluating racism within the schools. Instead of a cultural risk audit, many schools choose to entertain a cultural survey. This, is a, this survey will not protect the school district. And finally, schools can further avoid the atrocities associated with the new civil rights policy change by promoting positive racial teacher-student classroom relationships. This is Dr. Campbell. You can read about this article as well as additional information on my website at www.positiveracialrelationships.com. And of course, if you want to talk about it, you can call me on my direct line, 856-566-3267. Have a great day and thank you very much. Yeah, be sure to check out PositiveRacialRelationships.com. Check it. Love, uh, yo, love. Pull your pencils out, classes and session. Let's focus on loving our neighbor without a question. Visit PositiveRacialRelationships.com. Leading classrooms together like a marriage bond. Kick racism out, that ain't what life's about. For more information, check the website out. Yeah.